here to accept this award on behalf of Columbus B. Hill. I came to know his story by writing a book on African American barbecue. And you know, he was from Missouri, born about 1851, makes his way to Denver in the 1870s, and by the 1880s he's doing barbecues for 25, 30,000 people. Now these were the 19th century equivalent of a Taylor Swift or Beyonce concert, all right? So that's, kind of, that's the level of barbecue he was doing. And we know his name, he was illustrated so we know what he looks like, and we also, he was also interviewed extensively so we know his mind as a barbecue chef. So he, that's what sets him apart from a lot of people from that age. But I want to point out one barbecue that he did in 1898. Here is what was on the menu. Two buffalo, 10 cows, four elk, 30 sheep, two bears, 15 antelope, 200 possum, yeah, you heard that right, 10,000 pickles, 3,000 3, loaves of bread, 35 barrels of yams, a half ton of cheese, 200 gallons of coffee, and 300 kegs of Zang Brewing Company beer. So that's how we do barbecue in Colorado, all right, just so you know. Uh, just to let you know, thanks to the American um, Royal for being the nonprofit sponsor. Next weekend, we will have Columbus B. Hill Day in Colorado as part of Columbus Day weekend. And then also, I found his unmarked grave at a cemetery in Denver. So we're going to get a headstone and put on him, uh, put on that headstone that he was a 2023 Barbecue Hall of Fame inductee. Thank you so much.